Hello and welcome back everyone to some more Resident Evil 6 where we are finally getting back to it. Um, I did a, a live stream... What's today? Like two days ago, I guess, when this comes out of uh, Resident Evil 8 Village, the third person perspective. And in that I mentioned... Um, we need three separate passcodes. How I, uh, I was on vacation Fantastic. this past well, week, so this is the dead. first time um, in a while I've actually done some recording. He's dead. Which I think. Uh, here. Anyway, we got the first code. Yeah, we got the first code. I think it was the fifteenth that I did my last recording, and then on the sixteenth I did a bunch of editing and all that stuff. And then after that I was gone. But I bulked up on a whole bunch of videos so that uh, there would be some content on the channel while I was gone but now we are ready to get back in the swing of stuff with these lovely creatures because they're just everybody's favorite And I believe, because episode 10 was the last one that we did, so I believe we're at a point now where we're uh, looking to save Jake and Sherry. I think that's where we are. Kind of speeding through this crap. Screw these stupid things. I'd rather waste a couple of grenade launcher rounds then sit here and use up a bunch of shotgun ammo or something like that Just go ahead and end them real quick even though more of them do show up I believe I think there's like two more maybe back there's the third right there they're everywhere oh, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> Reopen or how does this work again? Okay, there we go. Right, let's get out of here. I'm on it. I would also expect some more um, reverse content to eventually show up. I'll uh, get to recording some of that here soon enough as well. There we go. Kick it open. Let's let's find these things. There's the fourth one. Only one more to find. Let's open this up, Pierce. You ready? Pierce! Come on, Pierce! Activate the little... Okay, thank you. I love that it stays open this time. Anything useful in here? Nope. Okay, cool. Let's uh, head on out to the other one. I always have trouble getting this one. It's in the lower levels. I always forget how to get to the lower levels. This is very Revelations 1 vibe to it. Alright, so that's locked over there. So that's a no-go. Because even like these little creatures... ...resemble the ooze creatures from Revelations. So... I get that vibe, although I think... If I'm not mistaken, Revelations came out first. I'm pretty sure that's right. Because that was like early 2012, and this was late 2012. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. 
Let's see, is this the uh, lower levels? Yeah, that's that double door area I was just in. And this spins back around. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's always tricky for me to figure it out, but I usually like to find these things myself. I don't want to use the little automatic compass thing that you can use, because there is that option. Right? I could push the button and have it direct me automatically, but what fun is that? doors. Have I gone down here yet? Okay, here it is. Nice. Didn't take me as long as it normally does. Usually I walk past this area so much. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's a door. Anything else? Hey, let's hurry up before they catch up. Oh my god. Fifth one, well, four and a half. Wait, really? Is there nothing? No ammo, no nothing? It's just a, okay. Get on back over there. First, let me check in here. Anything of value? No, okay. Kind of weird. I think that should have had something in it, but I guess not. Some ammo, first aid, anything. All right, which one of these goes back to the top? this side okay doing great Pierce Ooh, yeah good ammo Here it is. Is it? Wait. Oh no, it's on this side. Duh. You can't touch me. Oh god. Oh god, okay. Okay, here we go. Ha. Can't touch me when this is going on. Cutscenes. Ha ha ha. You're, you're, you're one weakness. Right behind god. Simple enough. Darn, they caught us through the vents after all that hard work. Not enough time for you right now. Got a missile to fail at taking down. Nothing hiding corners. All right. I'm on it. This is honestly when we get to the part where we fail to stop the missile. It's like one of the best moments in Resident Evil 6. It's just such a cool moment, especially in Leon and Helena's point of view. 
because I always love how Leon's talking to Chris, and as he's talking to Chris, you can see the missile in the air, and Helena kind of questions what it is. And then moments after that, you actually see the missile Let's get it fired up. up close, and then it bombs the city and infects everybody. It's definitely like a top three cinematic moment in this game. That, Leon meeting Chris, and then... I'm not sure what the... I don't know what would be up there with those. The carrier has been located. The carrier is armed with anti-aircraft artillery. Take out those guns, Alpha. One plane against an entire carrier? Does that even sound possible? Hey, Pierce, how's your aim? Never better, Captain. ship make it sink now doesn't that sound like the most logical thing save some time just blow up the ship and have it sink to the bottom it can't it can't do anything after that my speed or anything uh, it's just barrel roll aim and fire all anti-aircraft guns have been destroyed all right now we can stop that missile find a place to land captain Countdown has already started. Find the control <laughs> unit and stop the launch. Roger that HQ. We're on it. It's such a depressing moment because it's like they actually do it. They stop the missile. Looks like my path's blocked. Nothing a little pyrotechnics can't take care of. I've got you covered. You shall not pass. Got random briefcases chilling out. Come on, blow up. All right, where's the area that these? Okay. Kill this dude. Get off of my. Gotta block these people. All over the place. An ogre man. That looks like more trouble than we need. Shit, this fight's about to get dirty. Oh, gee, should have just sank the ship. Get back to the plane so we can get out of here. 
See, it's so depressing. They actually did it, and then it reactivates. You just blow it up. I mean, I'm firing. There's not really much else I can do for you at this point. This also aggravates me. Chris is like, oh god, it's in my way. Dude, fly around it. Like, come on, it's literally, you're in control. You could easily fly around this big tank of a beast. Do you want to play stupid? Like, oh, it's in the way. I can't, I can't destroy the missiles. Like, dude, fly around the stupid thing and blow up the missile. It's not that hard. Chris deserves this L. It's in for the city. FOS, is anyone there? FOS. Chris Redfield with the BSAA here. Hold on, I'm patching it through to Agent Leon Kennedy. What? Leon, Leon, where are you? Chris, we're just outside of Tachi. Why? Get the hell out of there! Resident Evil 3. Leon! Leon! Are you alright? Yeah. Things just got bad. Real bad. Two hostages from an underwater oil field. Agent Sherry Burkin and Jake Muir. Robert Wesker's son. Wesker? Chris. He's got antibodies for the C virus. I got it. On my way. Good. Thanks. Leon, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Ada Wong is dead. Sherry and Jake need you. Don't let them down. Okay, there we did it. Another A rank, which has been about the average for uh, this playthrough. We've, we've done pretty much A's across the board, except for one. I think we got a B or something like that. But yeah. 70% accuracy, not bad, only three deaths in an hour runtime, 69 enemies killed. So, all in all, pretty good. We will get ready to wrap up the uh, final chapter with Chris in about 
one or two episodes I would estimate maybe three I don't really know probably somewhere around there and then uh I'm undecided if I want to play Chris and Helena's campaign next or if I want to go to Ada's campaign next I kind of am undecided on which which direction I'll take that but yes we'll, we'll do all that like I said I also have some uh more reverse stuff that I'll probably get around to doing as well and um yeah there we have it so I will go ahead and wrap up this video here and I shall see you all on the next one see you then